Hey guys, so I'm here with Matt and Sarah for our own personal cheese chat with MIG. So it is National Cheese Day, so we are all going to sample these cheeses, guess which ones they are, um, kind of taste them, and then give you guys some facts about cheese and how you can haul them, refrigerate them, and how that affects insurance. So here we have this lovely yellow cheese with a mild aroma. So we're gonna try it and guess which one's which, and we're gonna pair it with these fancy little crackers. All right. All right, give it a go. Forks out, you know. Bon appetit. Can I eat the cheese with the cracker? Yes. Right, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I'm gonna go with a sharp cheddar. I was gonna say mild cheddar. Yay! Go no deep. <laughs> so when you're hauling cheese, it's really important to haul them in ventilated containers, um, making sure that they have storage as well as cool temperature. All right, so our next cheese up. It's yeah. a little lighter, you know? Still a, a nice kind of hard texture, so <laughs> let's see how this goes. Dive in. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try it without the cracker this time. Okay, I'll do it. Too. I might be able to get the flavor down a little bit better. <laughs> Win room. That's Gouda. Is it? I think so. I don't even think I know what Gouda tastes like. Mm, I think that's Gouda. I'm gonna go with a white cheddar. I think it's I think it's Gouda too. Gouda. When hauling cheese, you always want to make sure that uh, your gauges are always sitting about 12 degrees Celsius or 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Or if it's anything over that, it'll spoil the cheese for any extended time. So always going to make sure your gauges are sitting about right. All right, here is our third cheese. Get into it. I wish we had a smell of vision for you. <laughs> um, let's try it out and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, this one's got a nice little uh, aroma coming off of it. It does. Give it a go. Cut it in half. I'm not that. I'm like cheese. messing up the cheese. Okay. All right. A little drier, you know? It well, is. Definitely. It has like a crumb taste to it. Or I'll bales. go with um, a wine cheese. I think it's specifically Bella Vitana wine. Oh. Cheese. I'm just going to copy. I have no idea what type of cheese this is. <laughs> So if the temperature is not regulated properly, there are some risk factors that are associated with that. That can include odors, contamination, mechanical influences, including toxicity, which can be hazardous to your health. All right, we have cheese number four. All right, so we have a softer cheese. Yeah, definitely softer. Yeah, so let's, <laughs> let's try it out. Dig it in. Oh, this one needs the, the cracker. The cracker for yeah. sure. Okay. Oh, she's sticky. All right. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not going to know what this one is at all. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not. It's kind of a little salty. Oh, damn it. Texture's a little different. I'm going to take a wild <laughs> guess because I don't know. Maybe like a brie? I think it's brie. I'm cool with that. Brie. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Yay! So cheese is actually considered one of the high risk foods when it comes to uh, insurance coverage especially after the facts that you and I had gone over where you have to keep the gauges at the right temperatures or they'll spoil. It actually is a great uh, you know, breeding ground for bacteria and can actually harm, be harmful, especially toward pregnant women as well. So uh, definitely gotta make sure your gauges are uh, right for the haul. And at any point you believe that you have a contaminated load of cheese, please make sure to reach out to your broker and your insurance agent. And if you would like to add dairy as a commodity, please reach out to your agent, such as the ones we have here. You can call 1833 Ring MIG. For more information, please click the link in the description below.